Describe how raw or improperly treated sewage can lead to environmental de degradation. Answer. Raw or improperly treated sewage can lead to the degradation of the environment because sewage has a high nitrogen and phosphorus content, which can lead oxygen depletion, lead to oxygen depletion in the water, causing the death of fish and other important animals and plants. In addition to the fertilizer effect of sewage, heavy metals and other toxins will lead to severe environmental damage if treated inadequately. High discharge of suspended solids may also result in habitat destruction of streams, rivers, and lakes. Water and wastewater chemistry. Match terms and statements. Match terms and statements. Terms solution. Matching statements. G. Solvent. Matching statement. A and F. S solute. Matching statement. I. Concentration. Matching statement B, D, and K. Precipitate. Matching statement E. Precipitation. Matching statement H. Statements that are incorrect C, J, and L. Sy symbols for compounds, elements, or ions. An answer. Compound. Chlorine gas. Formula C, L, 2. Hydrochloric acid, HCl. Sodium hydroxide, capital N, lowercase a, capital O, capital H. Water, capital H, 2, capital O. Hydrogen ion, H plus. Chloride ion, Cl negative. Sodium chloride, Capital N, lowercase a, capital C, lowercase l. Nitrogen, capital N. Phosphorus, capital P. Describe the difference between inorganic and organic compounds. Answer. The chemistry of organic compounds is centered on the element of carbon. Both organic compounds and inorganic compounds may be natural or synthetic, manufactured by humans. Why are acids and ba why are acids and bases added to water during treatment? Answer: The pH of the water can have a significant impact on the performance of certain treatment processes. Therefore, acids or bases are made are added to the water to adjust the pH for the optimization of these processes. Identify the key differences between acids and bases. How are salts formed? Answers. An acid is a substance that has a pH of less than negative seven. Or of, an acid is a substance that has a pH of less than seven. In chemistry terms, an acid has more free hydrogen ions (H+) than hydro, hydroxyl ions (OH negative). Acids increase the hydrogen concentration when added to water resulting in a reduction of the pH of the water. A base is a substance that has a pH of more than 7 and has less free hydrogen ions, H+, than hydroxyl ions, OH negative. Bases reduce the number of free hydrogen ions when added to the water, causing an increase in pH. A salt is a substance that is precipitated as a result of the reac reaction between an acid and a base neutralization. Describe the process of oxida oxida oxidation, what molecules are being added or removed, and the results of oxidation in a water treatment process. Answer oxidation is the addition of oxygen, removable, removal of hydrogen, or the removal of electrons, a component of an atom, from an element or compound. In treatment processes, Oxid oxidation results in the transformation of organic matter to more stable substances. Oxygen and chlorine are two strong oxidizing compounds. What ions are released when a base is added to water? Illustrate this reaction with a chemical formula. Answer, when a base is added to water and disassociates, 
it releases hydroxyl OH negative ions. The stronger the base, the more hydroxyl ions will be released. The following example shows the dissociation of sodium hydroxide. Capital N, lowercase a, capital O, capital H equals capital N, lowercase a plus, plus OH negative. Sodium hydroxide equals sodium ion plus hydroxyl ion. What ions are released when an acid is added to water? Illustrate this reaction with a chemical formula. Answer, an acid is a compound which releases hydrogen ions, H+, plus, when it dissociates. The stronger the acid, the more hydrogen ions that the compound releases. The following example shows the dissociation of hydrox hydrochloric acid. HCl equals H plus plus Cl negative. Hydrochloric acid, hydrogen ion plus chloride ion. Is a pH of 9 more basic or more acidic than neutral? Answer, a pH of 9 is more basic than neutral. What is meant by megaliters, sorry, milligrams per liter? Answer, it is one method used to express the concentration of a solution. Milligrams dissolved or suspended particles in a liter of water. Milligrams per liter. Describe the purpose or how the following chemicals are relevant in water or wastewater treatment. Answer, activated carbon. Used to absorb organic compounds. Example, taste and odor causing compounds from water. Aluminum sulfate chlorine. Used as a chemical coagulant is the most common chemical used for disinfection in act activation in Ontario. Nitrogen is a vital element for the life processes of living organisms is an important consideration for wastewater effluent oxygen certain types of wastewater treatment processes can only occur in the presence or absence of oxygen phosphorus some phosphorus is necessary in bio biological wastewater treatment processes some wastewater treatment plants are required to remove excess phosphorus from their effluents. Differentiate between absor adsorption and absorption. Answer, adsorption is a process where particles are trapped on the surface of a material. Absorption refers to the trapping, to the trapping of particles within the body of another material. Describe how color affects water treatment. Answer, color is generally unacceptable to domestic customers and to some industrial processes. Color is one of the most difficult problems to handle in the treatment of water. Color compounds may also be precursors to disinfection byproduct formation. Define hardness and why it is a problem. Answer, hard waters contain high concentrations of dissolved mineral salts and require a considerable amount of soap to produce, produce lather. Hard water, hard water also leaves a scale in hot water heaters and boilers. BOD is the amount of <clears throat> bacteria. BOD is the amount of oxygen required by bacteria while stabilizing decomposable aerobic matter. BOD is the amount of oxygen required by bacteria while stabilizing decomposable organic matter under aerobic conditions. What does a high versus a low BOD test result tell you? Answer, the higher the BOD expressed in milligrams per liter, the greater the amount of organic material. Fully discuss turbidity, including what it is, how it is caused, 
and why it is important to water treatment operators. Answer turbidity is a relative measurement of water clarity and is expressed as nephelometric turbidity units, NTU. Turbidity is caused by the presence of suspended material and colloids, which are very small particles suspended in water and are resistant, resistant to settling. In drinking water systems, turbidity is important for both health and aesthetic reasons. It is an important indicator of treatment efficiency and particularly the efficiency of filters, filters and disinfection removal, disinfection removal processes. Particles that cause turbidity can hide or entrap harmful organisms so that the disinfectant, example chlorine, ultraviolet light, is unable to reach and inactivate these organisms. Turbidity also increases the chlorine demand for systems that chlorinate, resulting in a potential health risk because some of products that are that form as water reacts with natural organic material present in the water are suspected carcinogens. List some purposes and reasons for water sampling. Answer, provincial regulations and the facility's certificate of approval or permit set specific sampling requirements to ensure that the final product of the treatment facility meets the required health and environmental standards. In addition, sampling within a facility is an important tool for optimize, optimizing the operation of the treatment process. What is the key difference between a grab and a composite sample? Answer, a grab is a single sample taken at one place and time. A composite sample is a series of samples taken over a period of time which are combined to form a single sample. What chemicals are most commonly used to disinfect water in Ontario? Answer, chlorine gas, sodium hypochlorite, and calcium hypochlorite. What are the potential safety hazards with chlorine? Be specific as to the different types of chlorine. Chlorine gas is a severe respiratory irritant. Chlorine gas itself is neither explosive nor flammable. It is, however, a very strong oxidizing agent and will react with almost all elements and with many inorganic or organic compounds. Dry chlorine gas does not corrode steel or common metals at ordinary temperatures. However, in the presence of moisture, chlorine is very corrosive as a result of the formation of hydrochloric and hypochlorous acids. Chlorine solution, sodium or calcium hypochlorite, is similar to a strong bleach solution and is relatively safe to handle. What are two key variables that affect the disinfection, disinfection effectiveness of chlorine? Answer, chlorine residual and contact time. Disinfe disinfection effectiveness is quantified using the CT concept. CT equals concentration of residual and contact time. Define chlorine demand. Answer, the chlorine demand is the difference between the amount of chlorine added, the dosage, and the amount of chlorine, the chlorine, chlorine residual, remaining after a given contact time. What compounds in water react when chlorine is first added? Answer, when chlorine is first added to water, it will react with the organic and inorganic impurities in the water. What compounds are formed when chlorine reacts with ammonia in water? Answer, if, the ammonia, if there's a, ammonia in the water, some of the chlorine will react with ammonia to create what is called combined chlorine. Complete the following. Chlorine demand plus chlorine residual equals chlorine dosage. Combined chlorine, chlorine residual plus free chlorine residual equals total chlorine residual. Electricity, matched terms and statements. Answer, current. B, C, I. Power, G, H. Resistance, E, F. Voltage, A, D. What happens when wires or appliances carry more than their rated electrical capacity? 
Answer, when carrying more than their rated capacity, wires or appliances may overheat and cause fires. Complete the following current I times resistance R equals voltage V. What voltage produces a current of 500 amps with a resistance of 50 ohms? Answer for this problem, the formula we need to use is E.